This summer was one last hurrah for some cabin owners, and they didn't even know about it. Kenneth Chase explains why they are getting the boot to give homeless people a place to live. Like this is where we spend our summers. Kelly Fisherman's family has lived here for decades, but her family could soon live further apart. To have to see your loved ones have to leave when they've worked their whole lives to maintain their property and it's just, it's, it's really sad. As they're being forced to leave the place they call home. I think it's really selfish what they're doing and, and basically what it is is getting cheap, cheap lake property. The Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe no longer plans to renew 300 leases, leaving 75 cabin owners searching for a solution before the first of the year. There's no taking of the land. Leech Lake owns the land, and, that, and that's where my frustration comes from. The environmental director says they're able to do what they want with the shorefronts. The tribe plans to knock down these homes to build new housing for homeless members. I don't want to see dope houses set up out here. This is where my kids live. It's almost like um, the reservation wants to put people in here that don't know how to care for their homes. I bet the turnover rate on these these lands and the rentals and stuff is probably going to just turn over and over and over again. But the tribe says it's the campers that are ruining the environment. The only pollution we have up here is from human beings, normally septic systems. The only pollution. He wants existing septic systems to meet a higher standard in order to protect the lake's water and give his people a better place to live. You can help yourself by improving people's quality of life, by letting them live on pristine waters, lake shores, things like that. Things that we can invest in now that a couple generations down the road will start to see that pay off. But Fisherman says she wants new homes built elsewhere. We could talk about water quality all day, but what about over on the other sides of the lake? What about the places surrounding Star Island? What about way out by Pennington here? I mean, there's all these other communities that they could be doing this to, but they're picking here. The tribe has given cabin owners the option to move their cabins off the land. All the cabin owners contacted so far, though, say that is not affordable. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.